dream syntax here, I'm going to show you how to set up the Shadow the Hedgehog Reloaded 1.1 mod. It's the same setup as 1.0, so I'm just going to quickly go over it again, and if you need more in-depth, you can watch the old video for 1.0 setup. The instructions here have been updated to be more clear. You just need to follow this and you'll be good to go. Go to the releases, get the latest release, G drive folder here. This will contain everything you need. I'm gonna switch to this view so I can read it easier. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the widescreen version. Oops, don't need to click that. Click the download button on the right here. You can also grab the optional cheats and the dolphin add-ons. All right, once that's all downloaded, let's extract it. And while that's extracting, I'm gonna go to dolphinmu.org and I'm just gonna actually search it but it's dolphin-mu.org. Download the latest beta or development version. I recommend the development version. And if you don't already have this installed, Dolphin just won't run, so it'll be pretty obvious. Then you just need to go and get this. I'm going to make my Dolphin in portable mode just to isolate any configs. I'm going to launch Dolphin. This will generate the user folder. I'm going to close Dolphin for now. Going back to the reloaded add-ons, the Zigoop 8P right here, and the Dolphin add-ons I'm going to grab. Go back to Dolphin, User, place it in Game Settings. And then the Dolphin add-ons, I open that up, and the README will tell you where to place it. So I'm just going to grab these two. And go to Load, and Paste. And I'm going to go back to Game Settings and delete that Dolphin add-ons folder because it's not necessary. Alright, now I need to patch the ISO. So I need to go bring my Goop 8 Pete ISO here. There's my original ISO, which is the GameCube USA version. And I'm on Windows, so I'm going to run this. Alright, it's done. There's my new ISO, and my old one is in this old folder in case I didn't copy it. I'm going to place this in my Dolphin folder. I'm going to make a new folder called Game. I'm going to run Dolphin. I'm going to pick that Game folder. And boom, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Cheats. And at this point, you're good to go. However, if you're on Windows, I recommend Direct3D 11 at this time. And since I'm running on 1080p, I'm going to do 3x native. And for Shadow the Hedgehog in particular, that's the best performance, what I just did here. I'm going to use Borderless full screen because I have issues with the other one. I'm going to turn on Crop. And I want the custom textures and graphic mods. Right click the game, Properties. Go to Gecko Codes, you can tweak anything you want here. So I prefer the No Chaos Powers music, and maybe I want the partner intro this time around. Maybe I don't like that I removed Skid, which uh, I don't, so I'm going to leave that off. Uh, let's say I want Infinite Lizer Expert, there we go. And I want to be able to play as the battle characters such as the androids. Under Graphics Mods, I want Native Resolution Bloom. I'm going to launch the game. Alright, perfect. So something that's changed, now the clock speed will actually be automatically set to 150 here, so if you're having weird performance, just be sure to come to Config Advanced and tweak this. But 150 should be okay for most systems, but uh, feel free to tweak that out. Configure any controllers, I'm fine with the keyboard for now. Need to turn off vertex rounding if I want native resolution bloom to work properly. Alright, looks like it's good.